Welcome guys and girls, it is me, Jam Sankith, once again, and this is part four of the WRC uh, Rally Evolved season. We're here in Rally New Zealand, one of my favourite rallies, like I said after the last video in Mexico. It says it's easy, but I don't think it's that easy. Um, I would do the shakedown, but it's just on the rally cross course. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a good rally for us. Uh, Mexico was terrible, there's a link in the description down below for that. And, oh, there's a card annotation, like I keep saying... It's one of them I remembered. But uh, yeah, let's go for Rally New Zealand. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name, but let's go. And so there's fans already in front of the car, ready and waiting to see the Ford Fiesta blast off into New Zealand. Ford Fiesta? Ford Focus, James. It's a Ford Focus. They use the Fiesta now, though. But yeah, and that Marshall's drinking a cup of tea. Interesting. So, uh, I could do with a cup of tea. Uh, stop thinking about, like, food and drink, James. Just get on with the rally. Here we go. Good points on this stage will really boost our championship hopes. Good points on this stage. You don't get uh, points for stages unless it's the power stage, and it's not that late in the WRC era. So, um, yeah. We're on his way in New Zealand. Round four. Road narrows. What's he wanting? Is that... There's already a car out, it's a Citroen. Don't be Duval, do not be Francois Duval. He's finally turned his, well, started turning his season around in Mexico, but... But yeah, hopefully it's not Francois Duval. Knowing, my, knowing his luck, it probably will be. Yes, look at this. It's still on expert, obviously. This season might be, this rally might be a bit easier, but if we can get a rally... Oh dear, I thought... Thought I was heading off straight for the barriers. Well, obviously they're not barriers here in New Zealand. It's just fences. There's a helicopter there. A helicopter. Okay, we've lost some time through there because I tried to take it a bit steady. But Petter Solberg, continuing his momentum coming out of Mexico, seems to be trying to chase us down in second place. It's starting to rain. Okay, I knew it was going to rain at some point in this rally. I didn't think it would be been right now, but uh, yeah. We've extended our lead, not by much, but uh, yeah, because I'm trying to take it steady as well. Break five right, yeah, I'm going to break about here. It might be a bit too early, but I don't want to wreck the car or have an accident. We saw Monte, not Monte Carlo, we saw in Mexico of how bad that was. Yeah, I know we've lost time, but don't worry. I'm just trying to listen to the pace notes, because obviously I want to win. We've got a junction to turn around here. Don't go completely off the circuit. Off the road, sorry, not the circuit, but... Okay, that's good. This is this has got a good feeling about it. Uh, no, it's don't... Uh, no. Yeah, we made it. Okay, we made it. One and a half seconds quicker. Yeah, we nearly fucking died against this finishing post. We've lost a light anyway. It's fifth fastest time. Okay. Now I can relax a little now that I managed to finish the stage and one and a half seconds clear. The first time this season that a that a I mean it's a bit shit that a Peugeot has not won won the first stage. So uh, there's the Citroen at the side of the road. I got a feeling it was Francois Duval, but let's find out. Okay then, so here we are, the rally standings after stage one. Bit academic, so I'll go continue and say it was, obviously, uh, Francois Duval, because Sebastian Loeb is in fourth. He's about two seconds off us, about something like that, and Francois Duval is having a shocker of a season. So are the... So are the um, the Skodas since Monte Carlo have not really been that good. So, uh, Gron Hall in ninth, three Subarus in the top eight in the points. So, uh, yeah, and Roma Crest are doing random about how I would expect or where the Fords should be in 2005. So, yeah, looking good for us so far. So, let's see what stage two can offer. All right, then. So, here we are in a very wet... Uh, 
uh, stage number two, I'm going to say Rally New Zealand. But yeah, very wet stage number two. This is probably going to be the unfolding of the rally, which it has been before in previous rallies like uh, like Mexico. Um, but yeah, let's go for this rally. I mean, this stage. We've already lost touch with the championship leader. It's Petter Solberg. Well, no, it's not Petter Solberg. It's still low, but uh, we're underway for stage number two in here in Rally New Zealand. And my car decided just to want to wander off to the left side before I got back controlling it for some reason. But all right, a very wet New Zealand this is, and uh, yeah, anchor. Get on the anchors. Slow it down before we end up heading towards that helicopter. The dark half love their helicopters here in New Zealand. Look at that. There's the, literally there's three in the first half half a minute in this stage. That's well look there's another three there. So that's about six or seven yeah, that's about six already in this stage. Past buildings. Yep, gotta be careful not to clip the buildings. I've done that before. Is there any more helicopters? Oh dear. No, but there's a there's a place on the rally where I'm just going to go off onto the circ off the circuit because I'm trying to. Ah, oh, I don't know anymore. I'm just trying to rally without incident. Okay, so at this point, Loeb will be winning the rally as well because uh, he's just gained like 2.8 seconds on us in that sector or 2.3. Yeah, no, 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 no. There we go. Saved it, saved it. No sweat, saved it there. This might be a short video. I mean, I mean, I know sweet. I thought Sweden was going to be, but this might be a short one. But five right, very long. Yep. If I can win a rally, that would be fantastic. We've got Italy next, which is going to be good fun as well. So um. And now we're on dirt. No, we're not. We're on WRC Rally Vault. <laughs> not Colin McRae dirt. I'll be quiet now. Keep right into three left. Anchor it down. There, beautiful. This is what I need to be doing. It's not flat to finish. You knew, okay, it is this time. Here we go. Come on. Less dramatic than the end of the last stage. And we win again by three thousandths of a second. Yes, we did. I worked really hard. I was, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get good at, better at focusing and commentating at the same time. I'm still shit at it, but we're doing all right. That's three thousandths of a second quicker than Sebastian Loeb and a couple seconds quicker than Petter Solberg. It's going well here in New Zealand. Right then, so here we are with this stage, with the results of that stage. We're ahead of Sebastian Loeb and Petter Solberg, Marco Martin, Chris Atkinson, Gron Hall, Paninzi, and uh, and Har uh, Roven Pera, Harry Roven Pera in eighth. Stefan Sarazan, Francois Duval is out, yep. So Loeb moves up to second. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So we're going to be fighting Loeb. Can we have another different rally winner? I mean, Loeb's already won two rallies this season. Not going to tell you who won in Mexico. You'll have to check that out if you want to, but uh, feel free to. Anyway, um, so three Skodas are together, but it's for 11th, 12th, and 13th. And Roman Cresta, come on, we've got a Manufacturers Championship to try and win. Never mind. Let's just, let's just try and move on to Stage 3 and see if we can win Rally New Zealand. So then, here we go guys, ready for the final stage here in New Zealand. And there's another helicopter there. They love the helicopters here, I know I know, I keep saying that, but they do. It's Wapu Gorge, this final stage. I don't know why I had to tell you the name of the stage, I just find it funny. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a good one for us. It's better. It's already going better than Mexico because we're in with a chance of winning a rally. 
I know it's ours if we keep the pace, but I'm more worried about Sebastian. Now I know it's ours if we keep the pace, but I'm more worried about Sebastian Lee, because um, he has a nasty habit of being absolutely quick and dominant. Because um, he has a nasty habit of being absolutely quick and dominant. Some 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 no, I'm not trying to kill us. I'm trying to win a rally. Calm down. Call your tits. We're fine. Over bridge. Uh, okay. Do not hit anything other than the throttle pedal and the brakes. Move out of the way. You don't want to stand there, you know that Tony Gardemeister's coming in, he's going to try and nibble your feet with his front bumper. Like that. Like that. Yeah, I did not expect that corner. I did not expect that corner to be as tight as that. Oh dear, we've lost time. We've lost time because I, I went off trying. It's yeah, you see smoke and that's not going to be good. Okay. That's going to cost us. Oh, it's a, it's a Skoda. I was hoping it would be a Citroen. I know that sounds awful, but I want to win this rally. Hoping it would be a Citroen. I know that sounds awful, but I want to win this rally. At least they look like there was okay, them drivers. Don't hit anything else. Oh, well, fucking fuck me. We've just 5.4... God damn it. Can we, what can we do to win a rally? Or what can we do to just win 5.4 seconds off the pace? We've got Italy next. Oh my god. Great. Ah well. It's well actually no, we might have still still been on the podium positions. I don't know. Right, so here we are. Here are the standings after well in that final stage. Petter Solberg, oh yep, we're down to third. Ah, oh, god damn it. We had that rally in the bag and I went and screwed it up. Just one little mistake at the end of the, st at the, end of the rally, but P3 again on the podium. It's not looking good four rallies in, but it doesn't mean we can't mount a challenge. We can do this, we've got Italy next, we should be able to be in a good position there as Armin Schwartz and Francois Duval are out and yeah let's spray the champagne still happy it's still P3 though I know I sounded disappointed in the moment that's the heat of the moment but look at that we're on P3 again and Sebastian Loeb wins three rallies out of four this season so far he's looking dominant this season isn't he and uh, yeah he's looking dominant this season we're already 40, no, 16 points behind though, so um, we can still do this. We, 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 we can still do, do this. Head down. And we should be okay in Italy, but uh, yeah. The Manufacturers Championship, we're 10 points behind. We Ford is catching up slightly. Oh, not Ford. Burjo uh, is catching up slightly, but that's okay. We, we'll probably have them covered, I think, this season. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry that I've not been able to grab the win for us. I would have loved to. But the next rally is going to be in a few days' time. And it's going to be Italy. For the Super Mag Rally Italia Sardinia. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can win there, to be fair. Hopefully. I'd like to see us do that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.